Hey, it's Pastor Brett here, and I wanted to bring you some uh, thoughts today from Psalm chapter 2. I'm going to read the first four verses. It says, Why do the nations conspire and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they say. Let us throw off their fetters. Verse 4 says this, The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. There's seemingly so much turmoil in our world. I feel it. I'm sure you feel it with uh, this virus. And uh, if you watch the news any length of time, nations that are, are plotting and politicians that are plotting uh, and scheming factions and, and anarchists now in our country that are plotting and scheming to impose their will and, and accomplish their goals. Well, the psalmist uh, saw similar things in his day, and he actually saw them as plotting against the Lord and plotting against the king, his anointed one, and plotting against uh, the people of God. And I love his response to it in verse 4, as he says, the one who is enthroned in heaven laughs. Now, God doesn't laugh because he thinks that evil is funny or or that these plots are, are humorous somehow, but it, the second half of verse 4 says he scoffs at them. What that means is that God knows that ultimately these these plans, these schemes are not going to come to fruition in a way that would thwart his will or stop his plans. We know from uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse uh, 14 that the knowledge of the Lord is going to cover the earth as water covers the sea. And in Matthew 24, 14, it says that this gospel, this gospel about Jesus Christ is going to be preached to all peoples, to all nations as a testimony to them, and then the end will come. So when we see all this turmoil and all this scheming in our, in our society and culture and, and really around the world at this point in our history, uh, this is not the end. God has a beautiful and glorious end that includes the gospel going forward, the knowledge of God going forward everywhere around the planet. And it's going to result in the salvation of his people and, and ultimately in God's glory being seen by every person on the planet. And I believe this with all my heart, that if you trust in him, you put your faith in God through Jesus Christ, that you are part of that beautiful salvation plan, that glorious plan that God has in store that is not being seen in the news, but can be seen in God's word and can be experienced in the human heart through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And someday our faith will receive sight and we will see the end that God has in store. And it's going to be amazing. God bless you.